Hi guys, this is your favorite channel. This is Kirsty Valentine. Thank you very much for tuning on to my channel today. Hi, hit that red button on the right of your screen to subscribe, the bell button for notifications, thumbs up for like, like, comment and share this video with your family and friends. This is a video about a young woman who have advised a lot of married wives to be completely uh, submissive to their husband who was killed by her husband Jason Lindsay on Monday in Florida. This is a mother who was dedicated to her marriage. You can see she loved her husband so much. She's got a, an eight-year-old son and a baby which she had last year in 2018. I mean she's a dedicated mom. She's one of these mothers who wanted to have the right unit, the right family unit for her children she wanted a two-parent home from her children and she was ready to sacrifice to uh, for the survival and longevity and the success of her marriage apparently what led to this mother gruesome mother was that she found a condom in her husband's car and she confronted her husband when he came home from where he went to and, and said to him that he was having an affair so jason said when the police arrived in their apartment in, in in their house in Florida um, after her eight-year-old son made a 911 call to say what was going on in in, in his in his home apparently he her little son eight-year-old son i wouldn't want to mention his name because he's a young boy had his mother screaming had the cries of his mother and he ran to the kitchen and saw um, what was going on in the kitchen so he went back and he went to he died 911 and he called the police at the time the police arrived at the the house she was already dead and found in a gruesome as um position in a gruesome way uh butchered with multiple stab wounds strangled and in a pool of blood and when the police asked jason who is her husband he said well he just tripped that his wife found a, um, condoms in his car and accused him and confronted him that um he was having an affair and it went to an argument and he said before he knew it he lost his school he had one hand strangling her on her neck and he had the other knife um in his hand he said jason said that he stabbed her with the knife and couldn't stop he continued stabbing her and stabbing her and stabbing her that he just lost it he tripped it's unfortunate that um a lot of young women are losing their lives in their marriages i've always said i've made a video i'm going to put the link in this video up there and i said you have no business being in an abusive relationship it is better to be out of an abusive um, relationship or marriage i i mentioned in that video that it is better to be single free and happy than to be caught up in a loveless disrespectful unappreciative relationship or marriage either you die or lose your life in that marriage or you get out of it and you'll be free it will take you time to recover but it is better to be single and be happy than to be in a relationship or in a marriage caught up inside a loveless marriage and relationship i have always said that this lady clearly it she you can see she's 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 her kids are well taken care of even her husband it looks good so she is a good wife she is a good mother she is a good homemaker she has made um she wrote in her uh youtube and facebook um page she's got a facebook page and her facebook page her name is t nell sherry lindsay her name is t nell sherry lindsay on the 29th of april uh 2019 
she wrote on her facebook handle she said one of the hardest decisions you will ever face in life is choosing whether to walk away or try harder a person that truly loves you will never let you go no matter how hard the situation is remember couples that are meant to be are the ones who go through everything that is meant to tear them apart and comes out even stronger and she put an icon of red love she clearly loved her home she clearly loved being a mother she clearly she clearly loved being a homemaker she clearly was in love with her husband and she was prepared to sacrifice anything and everything to keep her man and keep her home happy she took time i mean she was well polished she was well dressed i mean her hair was always in, in, in impeccable her makeup her, her fashion sense her children were well taken care of this was a beautiful beautiful good black woman who just lost her life if you look at her facebook handle there are so many um arrow ips and sympathizers in her you um, um facebook um facebook handle is a pity that this woman has lost her life and you know he 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 all, all the all he could say her husband jason lindsay is that he lost it he lost it if you are a man or a husband who isn't cheating on your spouse or your or your wife condoms will not be in your pocket condoms will not be in your car the condoms will be in the drawer in your bedroom that you share with your spouse your living partner or your wife there is no man or no women that would not be suspicious if they find condoms in 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 their wife's or their girlfriend's handbag or in their car or somewhere it is not supposed to be especially when you have a sexual relationship where both of you have decided not to use condoms so you it is questionable you know it's my heart goes out to her children who are so young she's got a beautiful baby daughter i wonder if that baby is even up to a year roughly a year or a year or few months but it's a baby because in november she was carrying the baby the baby looked like two months old or three months old so i don't think her, her little baby her baby girl i wouldn't want to mention the baby's name uh for privacy and for the sake of the children out of respect for the children um she was a baby so that baby is not even up to a year what really really hurts me most as a mother as a parent as an aunt as a sister as a neighbor as a colleague as a friend as a relative is that those children are now deprived of a good home those children are now deprived of having two parents most of all the love of their biological mother whose life was carelessly and callously and brutally sniffed and snuffed out of her and left in a pool of blood all because of a pack of a condom and he could not hold his school uh, his school he held her with one hand and pick up the knife and continuously stabbing her with the other knife multiple times uh, for me if you study the pictures very well i don't think this man was in in love as she was in love with him you could see um you can see it i might be wrong I don't mean to offend anybody but when you study the pictures you look at his body language you look at his fa facial expression and you look at the way he's posing in the pictures and the family pictures that they've taken together you can see that his heart was not really there i don't think he he, he wanted all that responsibility i think he was somebody um who just still wanted to have his phone outside you know hence that condom in in the car because if you are not having a sexual relationship if you're not cheating 
outside your marriage why would you have a pack of condom in your car you don't need it anyway because the only person you'll be dedicated to will be your wife and if there is any pack of condom that will be found it will be in the bedroom and your wife will be very much aware of it you know it, it's it's scary these days you don't know what to tell anybody you don't know what to say you don't know if you're gonna say good morning or say hi to anybody you don't know how they are going to react the the anger the 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 the, the, the percentage the rate at which anger and curses and lashing out is going on life even when you go out live and even on social media is on is i cannot comprehend it it's beyond my understanding i don't understand the violence and the hatred and the anger from one human being to another i cannot understand or comprehend or bring myself to think about how a man who has got two children with a woman would would, would, would take off and lose lost it strang why strangling whilst stabbing her he was strangling her and whilst struggling her he was stabbing her what is he gonna tell those children i feel so sorry for those children this is another statistics you know why is there so much black on black violence in our communities what is going on what is true is 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 is, is, is is triggling it off what is it what is jingling it what is giggling it what is what is it that is 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 is, is a volcano it's such a volcano the anger it it, it spills like a, a deadly lava the anger in our communities what is going on just few days ago a young mother of two a nigerian young mother of two lost her life in germany her husband did the same thing pick up the kitchen knife and shook her and stabbed her to death and she died in a pool of blood on her way to the hospital you know i have always said it i am not an ambassador of violence but i am an ambassador for living your life peacefully and in and in love with yourself take care of you protect yourself cover yourself in the blood of jesus if that relationship is abusive get out of it you have no business being in an abusive relationship what's up what do you think guys leave a comment in that way we keep the conversation rolling do not forget to share this video with your family and your friends and your colleague in that way we keep the awareness and education rolling a buzzing in our communities press the thumbs up for like the red button the beautiful red button on the right of your screen for notifications the bells button to turn gray in that way you know when i go live streaming or a new video have been uploaded thank you guys for tuning on to your favorite channel it's your beautiful princess your favorite titi kirstie valentine until our next video i say love and peace